If prostate cancer remains confined to the prostate gland, it can be treated and cured. When it spreads far beyond the prostate, often to the bones, it can become deadly. With funding from Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia and Movember, researchers at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research are working hard to understand exactly how secondary cancers spread to and grow in the bone. In time, they hope to use this knowledge to develop new therapies to attack and kill these deadly tumours. Prostate cancer cells can break away from the primary tumour, circulate through the bloodstream and settle on the inner lining of the bone, called the endosteum. Although bone is an unfriendly place for the cancer cells to colonise and many will not survive, the skeleton is a dynamic environment in which bone is constantly being removed and replaced throughout life. Cells which remodel bone may be able to cause the cancer cells to become dormant and survive for many years, possibly decades. It's believed that cancer cells with certain gene signatures are especially adapted to colonise the hostile environment of the bone. Throughout our lives, our skeleton is maintained in a healthy condition through a complex process in which old bone is removed by cells called osteoclasts and replaced with new bone by cells called osteoblasts. The Garvin researchers believe that prostate cancer is able to hijack this process. So when cancer cells arrive in the skeleton, they can enter a dormant state and essentially they go to sleep. And then something is responsible for waking up those cells and causing them to form overt cancers. And what we've discovered very recently is that cells called osteoclasts, which are the cells that are normally responsible for breaking bone down, can inadvertently wake up these cancer cells and cause them to form actively growing tumours. These discoveries have important clinical implications. Firstly, we can use this new knowledge to develop biomarkers that can predict the development of prostate cancer in the skeleton. Secondly, we're exploring the effect of currently used treatments on this process. And thirdly, we can exploit this understanding to keep dormant cancer cells dormant in the skeleton for long periods of time to prevent the development of bone metastasis in prostate cancer. Despite progress in understanding the early events that cause secondary cancers in bone, more research is required to understand the colonisation, dormancy and reactivation of cancer cells in order to develop better treatments. <laughs>